Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment. Drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. When you are sharing, you make you are making the, the, the program to go viral and you're making people to get connected to us. That is why I always urge you to share so that others can connect to this very program. We can be able to run it as fast as we can and be able to get through with it. I'm not going to take much of your time. It's going to take just a brief time, some few minutes, and then we can be able to move forward. But as I have always said, this is a program where we encourage Biafras, a program where we talk about our life in Biafra land, a program where we tell our stories. We don't allow the enemies to tell our stories. That is why we are anchoring this program. We make sure we tell this program, the story of our people, what is going on in our land, regardless what anybody says. Azuka Eo Kongo, thank you for joining Azuka. So that is what we do here to make our case to the world. Let the world know the true situation of things in Biafra land. To let them know that the genocide in Biafra land cannot be accepted. To let them know that the kidnap and continuous detention of Mazen Nandekanu, our supreme leader, cannot be permitted and will not be allowed. The Nigerian government have committed grievous crime against the Biafran people and they continue to do so. They are committing genocide against Biafran people and they continue to do so. We will not be silent. We have to speak to the world and let them know the true situation because nobody is going to tell our story. The conventional media will not report what is going on in Biafran land. The conventional media in Nigeria and in the world, they will never report what is going on in Biafran land. We only have the opportunity to state our case in this very social media. That is why we are here on daily basis to state our case and let the world know the true situation of things in Biafran land. It is not easy. Even as you are watching me now, wherever you are watching me, we are losing people in Biafra land. Our people are being dehumanized in Biafra, in Nigeria. Our people are being killed. So many lives have been lost. There is genocide still going on in Biafra land, and nobody seems to talk about it. Our politicians are deaf and dumb. They don't care about us, and they're not making a case for us. So we have taken our faith into our hand and begin to fight for our freedom. That is why the autopiloted IPOB, under the spokesmanship of Master Simon Epa and on the Master Nandekano, we are standing firm and standing strong. Continue to speak up for our people. Stand our ground to say there will be no election anymore in Biafra land. It is signed and sealed and settled. They can never hold any election in Biafra land. And we have to stand our ground. Every Biafran, wherever you are on the planet Earth, stand your ground. Victory is sure. Victory is sure. We are getting to our victory very, very close. Our victory is very close. This is not a time for you to chicken out. This is not the time for you to be looking at your shoulders. This is not the time to be paying attention to distract us. No. It is time that we remain focused and focused alone. Continue to stand on that very direction, on that foundation that Mazen Nandekano, the Supreme Leader of IPOB, have led. IPOB, as you all know, is the indigenous people of Biafra. Biafra is a country that has existed, continue to exist, and will remain to exist. In as much as we are under occupation by Nigerian government now, we cannot allow that occupation to continue. We are going to liberate ourselves in this 2023. In this 2023, Biafra will be liberated from Nigeria, and we have our independence. We can now have a nation where we can be able to defend and be patriotic to. A place where we can grow at our own space. A place where we can pursue any career we want to pursue. A place where we can be proud and say, yes, this is my country. That's what we are looking forward to. And we are going to get that in 2023. It doesn't matter the attack they bring. It doesn't matter the propaganda and blackmail. They cannot stop us. They will try, but they will not succeed. My most important message today is to tell every Biafran to stand your ground. We are winning already. We are winning. If you don't know that, all you have to do is to open your eyes and pay attention. That is why I told you, every one of you that is online, make sure you follow Master Simon Epa on his Twitter. Follow Master Simon Epa on his Twitter handle. He is passing vital information on a daily basis. Master Simon Epa is passing vital information on a daily basis. If you are following him and paying attention, you have no reason to worry. You will have no reason to, to look anywhere, elsewhere. You will not be deceived.
neither will you be distracted. I can tell you, I can beat my chest and tell you that Biafrans are winning. And we are going into Biafra this year. The signs are there. We don't just say it and sit back. A lot of work is going on on the ground. A lot of work is going on. We are putting on aiming every effort. And our spokesperson, Master Samuel Epa, which I have always told you to continue to pray for him. Continue to pray for him. He is doing a marvelous work. Against all odds, with all the, all the attack, all the propaganda and blackmail against him, he is working tirelessly for you and I. He is working tirelessly for you and I, not for himself. He is working for the Biafran people. As the spokesperson of Biafran people, he is doing what he's supposed to do, carrying every one of us around. That is why you must follow him up. So many of us are scattered in several countries and different countries and different locations. We are in a global world where people are scattered everywhere. That the only means we have to reach each other is online most of the times. So you must have to stay close. And when you are staying close, pay attention to those who are having like minds, minds like you. Those who are genuinely seeking for your freedom. Those are the people you got to pay attention to. And today, it is no debate. It's not something to be debated anymore. That the only group that is fighting genuinely for the freedom of the African people is the autopiloted IPOB. Under the spokesmanship of Master Simon Epa and on the leadership of Master Nandekano. This is the group that is fighting sincerely and seriously to make sure that we earn our freedom. And our freedom we must get. It doesn't matter the blackmail you see. It doesn't matter the propaganda you see. It doesn't matter the distractions. Do not get distracted. And the only way you will not get distracted is for you to pay attention to the things that you have been told in the autopilot IPOB. Pay attention to every information you hear from our spokesperson, Master Simon Epa. You must pay attention to it. Take it serious. I say it several times that even when he is joking, take the word serious. Every single statement he makes on his platform, every information he gives out, take it serious. If you are doing that, you have no reason to worry and you will not be taken unawares. Everything that is happening today has been spoken about in the past. Just like our Supreme Amazon Land, they can have always said, our Supreme Amazon Land can have given us information about today that we are in. The attack against Biafran people you are seeing today by the terrorists, the dehumanization of the Biafran people by the terrorist government. The way they are taking over our currency today to make sure they take away money from our hands. The economic attack, economic sabotage against the Biafran people have been spoken about long, long time ago by our Supreme Namazan Nandekan. But people did not pay attention. If we had paid attention to Mazen Nandekan when he started crying about this very issue long, long time ago, before now, if we had paid attention and followed Mazen Nandekan, we would not be where we are today. We will not be in the serious situation that we are today. But people didn't take him serious. Nobody took him serious. Even those who claim to be serious as we are standing around him, we are all tricking him. They were not serious. They were all playing games. They were taking the freedom for fighting for, for, for uh, as a career, as a means of making money. They have deceived Mazen and Nekana for a very long time. And when they saw that Mazen Nan Nekana cannot stop, when, they have, when, when it had become very clear to them that Mazen Nan Nekana is not after money, he is only after the freedom of the people. When they saw that the word of Mazen Nan Nekana, when he said that it is either Biafra or Vet, that he meant, meant it, they betrayed him. They sold Mazen Nan Nekana out. The federal government of Nigeria went to Kenya and kidnapped Mazen Nan Nekana against his will. Mazen Nan Nekana was kidnapped in Kenya tortured for good eight days and those who were supposed to protect him who were supposed to be given us information said they did not know about it how can you kidnap the leader of more than 70 million people who is leading the highest movement in the world and yet nobody knew about it until after eight days until when he was pushed to take him back to kidnap and take him back to nigeria and up to today Mazen Nan Nekano remains in, incarcerated in the, in, in the DSS. As if that is not enough, the court, the court in the zoo, the court in Nigeria said, let him go. They discharged Mazen Nan Nekano and acquit him. Don't mind them when they begin to tell you that he was discharged, not acquitted. That is madness. That is madness. For, for, for Nigeria, English word means different thing for them. 
For Nigeria, they will always misinterpret words as if they created the words. Mazen Nandekan was discharged and acquitted, and they refused to let him go. Up to today, they are still holding him against the order of the court, their own court, which they instituted. That is how lawless Nigeria is. And this is one of the reasons we must get out of it. How can you talk of a credible election in a lawless country? A country that law does not abound. How can you talk about a credible election in a lawless country? We have seen people who won election in that Zoological Republic. People have won election and they were removed in the court. They were removed in the court and they gave power to those who didn't participate in the election. It has happened time and time again. It has just happened again recently. It has just happened again recently. And if care is not taken, they are going for appeal. After appeal, you find that that man will be thrown away. And they will bring a stranger, a total stranger. These things continue to happen again and again. And you see people begin to talk about the election. And when you see them talking about the election, you think that they have anything to offer. You think they have any strategy to make sure that that election becomes credible. There is no, there is no, no point that will show that the election is going to be credible. We have given them the opportunity for a very long time. I was supposed to imagine that they can give them all the chances they needed. They wasted it. It was the same old story. But in this regime, in the time that we're in, in the time that we're in, under the spokesmanship of Mazi Saman Epa, we will not listen to them. There will be no election in Biafra land. And every Biafra, wherever you are, stand your ground. Continue to stand your ground. Regardless what they say, regardless what you hear, stand your ground. Blackmailers are going to come. Distractors are going to come. They are going to attack you. They will take away the valuable things in your hands. Don't get distracted. Freedom doesn't come easy. There's always a price to pay for freedom. That is one thing you have at the back of your mind at all times. Each time you are talking about your freedom, just have it at the back of your mind that is a price you want to pay. Sometimes the price are so heavy. But you must have to pay that price if truly you want freedom. And it is much more important in our own case because in our own case, the freedom we are fighting for today is not just for us. It's for unborn children, for generations to come. Our forefathers have fought for this freedom. They fought and fought during their own time. And they couldn't be able to get it through. But in this our time, we will make sure we get it through. Our children will not continue to fight the same fight. Our children will not continue to face dehumanization. Our children will not continue to take the same path. That is why we have to speak up. And that time, the appointed time by Chukwu Kukabiyama has come. That appointed time is now. A time that every one of us have to stand up and do the needful. Liberate ourselves from the captivity of the Nigerian government. We have to get out of the terrorist government of Nigeria. And when we call Nigerian government a terrorist government, it is not a hearsay. We are not making it up. There are evidences to that. There are numerous evidences in that, both on video, in writing, and everywhere. Even on their conventional media, you see evidence there. We are the government is protecting the terrorists. We are the government is sponsoring terrorists. Where the government is giving an open check for terrorists, giving them financial support, material support. We have seen the military equipment end up in the hand of the terrorists. We have seen several times where the government have paid ransom to the terrorists. We have seen in several videos where the government came even shamelessly to announce that they have recruited members of terrorists into the military. They told us that they have rehabilitated them. How can you rehabilitate a terrorist and put him back into your military? What sort of rehabilitation can you give to a terrorist? Somebody whose only mission is to take life. A devil incarnate whose only mission is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And you take him and put into your military. Today, the Zoological Republic has no military. Nigeria has no military. All they have are terrorists in uniform. That is why you see what they are doing in Biafra land. They are burning houses of civilians, taking innocent lives, shooting indiscriminately. If you say you are chasing unknown gunmen or you are looking for people, a trained soldier should go after the enemy. 
and not the civilians. Every one of us that is watching know that in every military barrack, there is always rule of engagement in military. Every force in the world has rule of engagement. The military of the whole world have rule of engagement. But in Nigeria, the Nigerian military have no rule of engagement. They come to your village in Biafra land, they open fire. They take away the life of the innocent children. They make children fatherless. They make mothers widows. Make men widowers. They create orphans everywhere in Biafra land. They make people jobless. Destroy your life. Destroy your home. Make you homeless. And they leave people with no choice than to fight back. The only people that have such footprint is the terrorists. What the government does is to pro protect the life and property of its citizen. That is the duty of the government. The primary duty of every government in this world is to protect the life and property of its citizen. But that is not the case when it comes to Biafran people inside Nigeria. Their life is not protected. Their properties are not protected. They are not secure. And the evidence are everywhere. But the most painful thing is that nobody is talking about it. The world is keeping silent towards what is happening in Biafra land. As if it is not happening. When one person dies in Europe, on America, the whole world will have an outcry. There will be condolence from all parts of the world for the death of one person in Europe or America. But I can tell you in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, people are dying on daily basis in hundreds. On daily basis. People are dying on daily basis in hundreds. Not because they were sick. Not accidental death. Being, their life is being smoked away from them. Is either terrorists is killing people, the military is taking lives, the police is taking life. These are what I have is happening in Nigeria every day. Nigerian government know that the northern part of Nigeria today is in the hand of the terrorists. The northern part of Nigeria is in the hand of terrorists, and it is not a blackmail or propaganda. The evidence are everywhere. People come even on their conventional media to make this report. But they sweep it under the carpet. They will never talk about it. Nobody reports about it. Nobody talks about it. When the terrorists go to a village and destroy and take life, they don't report about it. The only place they are focused is reporting about things that happen in Biafra land, blackmailing Biafra people, calling them names, trying to tag them terrorists, trying to dehumanize the Biafran people. The people that have been oppressed, you are now trying to change the narrative and make them the oppressor. That is how wicked the government of Nigeria is. The oppressed people, and they have succeeded. And the international community is doing their part because of their own selfish interest. Because of the selfish interest of the United States and, U and the UK, they don't care. They don't want to know what is happening in Biafra land. They don't want to talk about the innocent life in law. As long as the mineral resources in that country continue to flow to them free of charge, unmeasured, they don't care. They don't care what happens to you. They don't care what is happening to me. They will go to their platform and begin to talk about human rights. They preach so much about human rights. I talk about it, but in practical, no human being has a right in Biafra land. Our rights have been taken away from us. They took away our wealth, our mineral resources, before our own very eyes. When we complain, they open fire on us. When we say we want to have our own nation, they open fire on us. At the same time, international law supports that you are free to have your self-determination. International law supports self-determination. And yet, when the Biafran people open their mouth and say, we want self-determination, the Nigerian Zoological Republic open fire on them. And nobody says anything. African Chartered Law supports self-determination. Biafran people are killed before because of self-determination. Yet, the African nations, they keep silent as if they don't know what is going on. Nigerian law itself supports self-determination. 
Yet, when we ask for that self-determination, they open fire on us. Where else will our hope lies? Our hope lies in our hands. That is why we have taken the path we have taken. That is why we have chosen the path that we have chosen. To make sure we restore the kingdom of God on earth, which is Biafra. Biafra will be restored. And it's going to be restored in 2023. It doesn't matter what anybody has to say. Some people will be saying, what do we have? Where are our weapons? Some will be asking, what do we have? How much do we have? You'll be asking so many questions. But your question doesn't matter to us. We know the people we are paying attention to. We know whom sent us. When the Israelites were told to go and possess their land, the first who that we are sent came and came.